Good morning children. Welcome back to Max class. We will continue with the same exercise. Exercise 15.1, third question. A toy is in the form of a cone of radius 3.5 cm mounted on a hemisphere of same radius. The total height of the toy is 15.5 cm. Find the total surface area of the toy. So toy is, is in the form of a cone mounted on a hemisphere. So top of a hemisphere there is a cone. Radius of the cone is 3.5 and even the hemisphere also 3.5. So radius of the cone and hemisphere is 3.5 cm. It is given that total height of the toy is 15.5 cm. Total height is 15.5 cm. As I told you from here center to here this is the radius 3.5 so for a hemisphere this is also radius 3.5 cm so total height of the toy is 15.5 and the radius of the hemisphere is 3.5 what about the radius of the height of the cone height of the cone is total 15.5 minus 3.5 it will be 12 cm so first we will write radius of the cone Radius of the cone as well as hemisphere. 3.5 cm. Radius of the hemisphere also 3.5 cm. 3.5 cm. Total height of the toy. Total height of the toy. It is 15.5 cm. Therefore, height of the cone equals 15.5 minus 3.5. So, it is 12 centimeter. So, we got radius, height of the cone. Then, we want to find the total surface area of the toy. Therefore, TSA of the toy is equal to toy is the combination of a cone and hemisphere. So here, cone, circular surface and hemisphere, circular surface are joined together, attached together. So that area we don't want to find out. Only total surface area of the toy is the CSA of the cone plus CSA of the hemisphere. Which part is visible? Only that area we have to add. So CSA of the cone plus CSA of the hemisphere. CSA of the hemisphere. So whenever you will do the such type of questions, combination of solids, write the formula together. Se instead of doing separate, separate each value, write it together. Write the formula. CSA of a cone is pi R L plus CSA of a hemisphere is 2 pi R square. See, L is not given. We should find out L. Then we can take common and we can calculate it. Calculation will be little less. In, in, if you do it together. So first CSA of the cone is pi R L plus CSA of the hemisphere is 2 pi R square. L is not given. From this we will take common. Pi R we will take common. Remaining L plus 2 R. Pi and 1 R is outside. So 2 and 1 R will remain. So first we will find out L. So L we know the formula I told you. L is the slant height. Slant height will be larger than height. So, L is equal to square root of R square plus H square. This is the formula. So, when you write square root of radius 3.5. 3.5 square we can write or instead of that 3.5 we can write it as 7 by 2. 7 divided by 2 is nothing but 3.5. So, wherever calculation comes if you write 7 by 2 it is easy for you to calculate. So, plus height. Height of the cone. It is 12. So, 12. So, radius square plus height square, square root of 7 square is 49, 2 square is 4 plus 12 square is 144 equals square root of, we will take LCM, 4 is the LCM, 49 plus, we will multiply for 144 into 4, 4 4 is 16, remainder 1, 4 4 is 16 plus 1, 17, remainder 1, 4 1 is 4 plus 1, 5, so it is square root of, when you add these two, you will get 625 by 4. And square root of 625 is 25 and square root of 4 is 2. So 25 by 2 or if you want to write it as decimal number, 12.5 centimeter 
is the slant height of the column. So instead of L, we can write 12.5. So pi into R. R is, you can write either 3.5, you can write, or you can write 7 by 2. So pi value will write. Pi is 22 by 7 into, if I write R as 7 by 2, easy for you to cancel. Even 3.5 also you can cancel. Bracket L is 12.5 plus 2 into, here also I write R as 7 by 2, or you can write 3.5. 7, 7 cancel, 2 and 22 cancel, 11 into 12.5 plus, here we can cancel 2 and 2 plus 7. So it is 11 into 12 plus 7, 19.5. So we will multiply 195 into 11. 5, answer 5, 9, 1, 5, 9, 1, 5, 14, 2, 1, 4, 5 we got. So, 2, 1, 4, 5. One point, decimal point here we put. Centimeter square is the TSA of the top. Fourth question. A cubical box of size 7 centimeter is surrounded by a hemisphere. What is the greatest diameter of the hemisphere can have? Find the surface area of the solid. So, here is a cubical block of size 7 centimeter. All the sides are 7, 7 centimeter. Side 7 centimeter is surmounted by a hemisphere. Top of that, there is a hemisphere attached to it. What is the greatest diameter the hemisphere can have? What is the maximum diameter of the hemisphere? As it is, uh, hemisphere is attached to the cube and the side of the cube is 7 centimeter, the maximum diameter the hemisphere can have is 7 centimeter. Find the surface area of this solid. So side of the cube, side of the cube equals 7 cm. Therefore, maximum diameter of the hemisphere, diameter of the hemisphere is also 7 cm. Hemisphere equals 7 cm. This is the first answer. Now, Find the surface area of the solid. That is the question. So, to find the surface area of this solid, see I told you to find the total surface area whenever combination of solid comes, we have to see the surfaces which are visible, that area we have to find. So, as it is a cube and the top of that there is a hemisphere attached, the down part, that is circular part of the hemisphere is attached to the top part of the cube. So, to find the surface area, of this cube, surface area of the solid. Surface area of the solid equals area of the solid is equal to first we will find the total surface area of the cube. Total surface area of the cube. We will do it together of the cube plus this hemispherical part is clear, visible. So, CSA of the hemisphere. CSA of the hemisphere. Then, so when we find total surface area of the cube means the top part area also we are including. But, the cube is attached to the hemisphere. Hemisphere circular part is touching the top part of the hemisphere. But, some part is visible. See, it is not complete. We cannot completely cover the hemisphere with the top part of the cube. So, some part will be visible. Some part will be not visible. Means joined together. So, what we should do is to find the surface area of the solid which is visible here. First, we will find the total surface area of the cube. CSA of the hemisphere. Then, we will subtract the area of the circular surface. Why we are subtracting the area of the circular surface? Because when we say total surface area of the cube, the top part also we are covering it. But this part is attached, so that area we have to remove. Then only we will get what is the area of the given part, visible part. So minus area of the circular surface. Area of the circular surface. Circular surface of the hemisphere. Circular surface. I think it is clear. Whichever surface is visible, only that area we will find out whenever it is combination of solids. So, first we will find the total surface area of the cube, then CSA of the hemisphere, 
see a uh, curved cir uh, sorry circular part of this semi sphere is attached with the top part of the cube so that area we will remove which is visible that will include here so tsa of the cube is equal to 6a square csa of a hemi sphere is 2 pi r square minus area of the circular surface is also pi r square is pi r square so here it is 2 pi r square and here it is pi r square so we will get 6x square plus 2 pi r square minus 1 pi r square we will get pi r square now we will substitute the value 6 into the side <coughs> or the edge of the cube is 7 so 7 square plus pi 22 by 7 and radius of the hemisphere maximum diameter of the hemisphere is 7 so radius is 7 by 2 square is there so into 7 by 2 2 times we will write so 6 into a square plus 22 by 7 into radius as diameter is 7 we can take 7 by 2 or 3.5 r square 2 times we will write so 6 into 49 plus here this 7 and 7 will cancel 2 and 22 will cancel we will get 11 into 7 77 by denominator is only 2 we will get now we will multiply this 9 6 are 54 remainder 5 6 4 are 24 plus 5 29 plus 77 by 2 we will divide and write or you can take it here instead of that 2 3 is 6 remainder 1 17 8 2 is 16 remainder 1 10 we will get 38.5 we will add it 294 plus 38.5 is the total surface area of this solid 0.5 8 plus 4 12 remainder 1 13 remainder 1 3 332.5 centimeter square is the surface area of this solid. Fifth question, a hemispherical depression is cut out from one face of a cubical wooden block such that the diameter L of the hemisphere is equal to the edge of the cube. Determine the surface area of the remaining solid. In the previous question, a cubical block was there or solid figure was there. From that, top part a hemispheric sphere is attached. But here the question is a hemispherical depression is cut out from the one face. That means from the top part of the block or a wooden piece of a cubical cube, we are cutting the shape of a hemisphere. Inside we are cutting depression. Deeply we are cutting inside. Uh, and from the face of a cubical wooden block such that the diameter L of the hemisphere, diameter of the hemisphere, Diameter of the hemisphere is L. Hemisphere equals L. L of the hemisphere is equal to edge of the cube. Edge of the cube. Normally we will write the letter edge of side of the cube as A. So here is equal to edge of the cube. So edge of the cube is also L. That is edge of the cube is L. Even the diameter also L. Diameter is L. Even edge also L. This is L. Determine the surface area of the remaining solid. We have to find the surface area of the remaining solid. So same way. So here diameter of the hemisphere is L means. Therefore radius of the hemisphere will write. Radius of the hemisphere equals L by 2. Therefore Total surface area of the remaining solid. Surface area of the remaining solid. Surface area of the remaining solid. This sum is also same like the previous sum. There the hemisphere was in the reverse. Properly kept. Here it is deeply cut inside. So here first we will see total surface area of the cube of the cube then cut means the curved surface is visible clear so csa of the hemisphere csa of the hemisphere and we will subtract area of this circular surface minus area of the circular surface circular because this top part is open, round part is not closed, it is open, so that area we won't consider.
So which area is visible? Only that area. Total area of the cube. Then that cut is in the shape of a the CSA of the hemisphere, that area. And the top round part is not closed. So that area we will subtract. So same way, TSA of the cube is 6A square. CSA of the hemisphere, uh, hemisphere is 2 pi r square. Area of the circular surface is pi r square. We will subtract and write 6A square plus pi r square. Here the value of A is L. So 6L square plus pi as it is L, right? Because here there is no numerical value is given. Radius is L by 2. So L by 2 the whole square will write. 6L square plus pi into L square by 4 we will write. L square by 2 square is 4. We will take LCM. 4 is the LCM. 6 4 is 24 L square plus pi L square we will get. So here common is L square into 24 by, sorry 24 plus pi by 4. And this is the surface area of the remaining solid. If you want you can write 1 by 4 L square into 24 plus pi. Sixth question, a medicine <coughs> capsule is in the shape of a cylinder with two hemispheres stuck in each of its ends. The length of the entire capsule is 14 millimeter and the diameter of the capsule is 5 millimeter. Find its surface area. So you know what is the sh uh, shape of a capsule? See like this, Cylind middle part will be cylindrical in shape, both the ends will be hemisphere. So a cylinder is attached to hemisphere in both the ends. So medi this medicine capsule is in the shape of a cylinder with two hemispheres. So this hemisphere part will separate it. See like this, this is the hemisphere, these two ends and middle part is in cylindrical shape. The total length of the entire capsule is 14 mm. Total length of this capsule is 14 mm. So total length of the capsule. Length of the Capsule is 14 mm, 14 millimeter, and the diameter of the capsule is 5 mm. Diameter means this is 5 mm. So, this is diameter means this is the radius. Radius will be half of that, that is 2.5. So, here also one radius will be there. We have another hemisphere, here also radius will be 2.5. Diameter of the hemisphere. Diameter of the hemisphere. It is 5 centimeter. Therefore, radius of the hemisphere. It is 5 by 2. Is 2.5. 5 by 2, 2.5 centimeter. Now, we want to find the, its surface area. Now, to find the surface area, both the sides are attached with hemisphere. Middle part is cylindrical in shape. So we want to find what is this. This is the length or height of the cylinder. When we keep like this, we will feel like it is length. But for a cylinder, it is the height. So now we should find what is the height of the cylindrical part. Height of the cylindrical part or the height of the cylinder, you will write, is equal to total length of the capsule is 14 millimeter. This side radius of the hemi this hemisphere and here also radius. So when we find the height of the cylinder, it will be 14 minus 2 into 2.5 because 2 times we have to subtract this 2.5. That is 14 minus 2 into 2.5 is 5. So it is 9 centimeter height of the cylindrical part. Now we want to find the surface area of the capsule. Therefore, surface area of the capsule equals Capsule equals, so here capsule is made up of a cylinder and two hemispheres. So cylinder is, cylinder critical part you will take the CSA because this part is joined together. CSA of the cylinder, CSA of the cylinder plus CSA of the two hemispheres. So I will write 2 into CSA of a hemisphere. CSA of the cylinder is 2 pi r h. 2 into CSA of a hemisphere is 2 pi r square. Then we take common 2 pi r we will take common. 1 h will remain. 
Here 1, 2 is already outside. So 1, 2 and pi outside. 1 r is common. So 1 more r will remain. So 2 pi r into x plus 2 r is the equation. Now we will substitute the value 2 into 22 by 7 into radius. What is the radius of the hemisphere? It is 2.5 or you can write 5 by 2. I will write 5 by 2 so that easily we will cancel it. H is the height of the cylindrical part. It is 9 plus 2 into radius. Radius I will write 5 by 2 or you can write 2.5. So here 2 and 2 will cancel. 22 into 5, 110 divided by 7 into this 2 and 2 will cancel directly right into here now we will add 9 and 5. So 9 plus 5 it is 40. So 2 and 2 cancel 22 into 5, 110 divided by 7 into 2 to cancel 9 plus 5, 40. Now we can cancel 7 and 14 2. So 110 into 2 it is 210. 20 as the unit is millimeter, millimeter square is the surface area of this capsule. Seventh question, a tent is in the shape of a cylinder surmounted by a conical top. If the height of the height and diameter of the cylindrical parts are 2.1 and 4 meter respectively and the slant height of the top is 2.8 meter, Find the area of the canvas used for making this tent. Also find the cost of the canvas for the tent at the rate of rupees 500 per meter square. So a tent is in the shape of a cylinder. See here is a cylinder surmounted by a conical cap. Surmounted means top of that. There is a conical top. If the height and diameter of the cylindrical parts. So height of the cylinder. Height. If the height and diameter, just diameter of the cylindrical part are 2.1 and 4 meter. So this is 2.1 meter and this is 4 meter. As diameter is 4 meter, radius of the cylinder is 2 meter. And slant height of the top, that is slant height of the cone. Slant height of the cone, slant height is L. Slant height of the cone is 2.8 meter L is 2.8 meter. Find the area of the canvas used for making this tent. So here diameter of the cylindrical part is 4. So here also it will be 4. So diameter of radius of the cylinder and the cone it is 2 meter. So radius of the cone also 2 meter. Now to find the surface area of the canvas used to making this tent. We know that tent curved part will be covered. And it is given that the base of the tent will not be covered with canvas. Normally the CSA only covered. So to find the, find the area of the canvas. Therefore area of the canvas used. Area of the canvas used for making this tent is equal to CSA of the corn plus CSA of the cylinder. CSA of the corn plus CSA of the cylinder. Whenever it is uh, tent, only we will find the CSA. CSA of the corn is pi r l and CSA of the cylinder is 2 pi r h. So when we take common, pi r we will take common. L plus 2H we will write. Pi is 22 by 7. Radius is 2 into L. Slant height of the cone is 2.8 plus 2 into H. H is the height of the cylinder. Height of the cylinder is 2.1. So here 22 by 7 into 2. So 44 by 7 into 2.8 plus 2 into 2.1. It is 4.8. 44 by 7 into this together we will add 7 we will get 8 plus 2 0 8 plus 2 10 remainder 1 4 plus 2 6 plus 1 7 7 we will get so this part we will remove so 44 meter square is the area of the canvas used to making this tent now one more question is asked find the cost of the canvas for the tent at the rate of rupees 500 per meter square so here 
for 1 meter square 500 rupees. Cost of making the canvas. So find the cost of the canvas. Cost of the canvas. Cost of the canvas for 1 meter square. Per meter square or for 1 meter square. It is given that 500. 500 rupees. So, what is the area of the canvas which we use? 44 meter square for making this tent. Therefore, cost of the canvas for 44 meter square equals 500 into 44. So, 5 fours are 20. Reminder 2. 5 fours are 20 plus 2, 22. And already two zeros are there. Rupees. This is the amount for uh, making this tent. Eighth question. From a solid cylinder whose height is 2.4 meter. Height of the cylinder 2.4 meter. Height of the cylinder. 2.4 meter. And diameter 1.6. 4 centimeter 2.4 centimeter and diameter of the cylinder 1.4 centimeter so radius of the cylinder equals 1.4 by 2 0 0.7 centimeter a conical cavity of the same height and same diameter is hollowed out find the total surface area of the remaining solid to the nearest centimeter square so from this a conical cavity of same height and same diameter is hollowed out cutting and removing it so we will draw a cone so here from the cylinder they are cutting and removing a cone of same height and same radius what is the surface area of the remaining solid Therefore, surface area of the remaining solid. Surface area of the remaining solid. So, for cone and cylinder have same radius and same height. Height, cylinder and cone. Both are having same height and same radius. So, when we cut a cone from this, how to find the surface area of the remaining solid? So, to find the so top part will be cut and removed. So, this part will be opened. So, that area we don't want to count. So, we will find the CSA of the cylinder plus then say cavity. Cutting part will be visible. The surface is, we can see the conical part. So, CSA of the cone. So, first the CSA of the cylinder. CSA of the cylinder plus CSA of the cone, CSA of the cone plus this part, this hemi, this circular part will be there. So as it is area of the, area of one circular surface, one circular surface or circular thing. So CSA of a cylinder is 2 pi R H, CSA of a cone is pi R H, area of one circle is pi R square. Here, slant height is not given. First, we should find out the slant height. The formula to find slant height is L equals square root of R square plus X square equals square root of radius. It is 0 0.7 square plus height of the cylinder. Same height for cylinder and cone. So, it is 2.4 the whole square. 0 0.47 the whole square is 0 0.49. And 2.4, 24 square is 576. So 2.4 square will be 5.76. Then we add it, we will get 6.25. Square root of 625 is 25. So square root of 6.525 is 2.5. So slant height we will get 2.5 centimeter. Now we will take common here. Pi is common, R is common. So remaining letter 2H plus L. Plus 1 R will remain here. So pi is 22 by 7. Radius is 0 0.7 into 2 into H. H is the height. Height of the cylinder. Both are same. Height is 2.4. Plus slant height 2.5. Plus radius 0 0.7. So 7 and 0 0.7 when you cancel you will get 0 0.1. 
22 into 0 0.1 is 22 into 1, 22. After 0.1 digit, we should put so 2.2. So now we will multiply 2 into 24, 48. So 4.8 plus 2.5 plus 0 0.7. Now we will multiply 2.2. By adding all this number, 4.8, 2.5 and 0 0.7. 7 plus 5, 12. 12 plus 8, 20. Reminder 2, 4 plus 2, 6 plus 2, 8. So we will get 8. So 2.2 2 into 8 is 8 to 16. Reminder 1, 17. And 1 point, we have to put the, before put the point, centimeter square. Surface area of the remaining solid is 17.6 centimeters square. Ninth question. A wooden article was made by scooping out a hemisphere from each end of a solid cylinder as shown in the figure. If the height of the cylinder is 10 centimeter. Height of the cylinder 10 centimeter. So total height of the cylinder is 10 centimeter. And the, its uh, base of its radius 3.5 cm. Radius is 3.5. Here also 3.5. Radius of the cylinder equals 3.5 cm. Find the total surface area of the article. So here a wooden article was made by scooping out a hemisphere from both ends. So they are removing the shape of a hemisphere from both ends and their article is made. So, we wanted to find the total surface area of the article. Therefore, total surface area of the article is equal to CSA of the cylinder, cylinder plus how many hemisphere is visible? Two, both the side hemisphere is visible. So, 2 into CSA of a hemisphere, CSA of a hemisphere. So, two hemispheres are there. CSA of a cylinder is 2 pi r h plus 2 into CSA of a hemisphere is 2 pi r square. So, here common 2 pi r is common h plus 2 pi r. So, what is remaining? 2 r is remaining. 2 into 22 by 7 into radius 3.5. We can write 7 by 2 or 3.5. I will write 7 by 2. Height 10. Plus 2 into radius again 7 by 2. So 2 and 2 will cancel. Here 7 and 7. 2 and 2 cancel. Only 22. 10 plus 7. 17. So 22 into 17. So 374 centimeter square is the total surface area of the article. That's all for today. Thank you.